Okay, so like is Beyonce making it okay and like not a sin to have a southern twang as a singer? It's so funny because when she said they used to say I sounded too country and now they say I ain't country enough. Okay, so black women vocalists, did we just all have this thing where they tried to train the twang out of our boys as if it's the end of the fucking world. And I wanna say mostly in pop and R&B. Pop and R&B because I'm also a musical theater kid. I kinda understand for musical theater, okay, that, that, okay. In a lot of instances, that is needed. It needs to be non-regional. Specifically pop and R&B where it's, it's just like whatever, you know? Which is really funny given the fact that there is so much fucking vitriol towards black people in the country scene. And I feel like so many of us vocalists have actually had to have the country trained out of us. Not to mention, all, basically all of Southern culture is brought to you by us. You're welcome. Like, so what if you have a twang? Like, I feel like it's kind of elitist, like in the pop R&B scene, like, you know, the stereotype of you know, a Southern accent being associated with being dumb. That coupled with the fact that so many of us have been told that we sound too country, which is really interesting for people that don't belong in country. Especially when it comes to pop and R&B, as long as you can understand what I'm saying and the voice is aesthetically pleasing, who gives a shit? There's a million fucking palm colored girl singers out there on the radio that I can't understand a motherfucking word they say because they won't open their mouth past this. Do you have a problem with my twang? Fuck you. I'll consider hiding my twang when y'all start telling them to open their fucking mouths. Also for context, I, like the queen, am also from Houston. 